Hi, my name is Ken Oliver. I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful watercolor painting that would be great as a card. It's so beautiful that you could also frame it and give it as a gift. This is a coloring project that you are going to love. This is called Heirloom Roses, and there's a four pack of these that have four different designs printed onto my water media paper. Uh, the paper is perfect for using color bursts because it's ultra bright white and will show, your color bursts will really, really reflect and be beautiful on this paper. The first thing I wanna do before I get started is select my color palette for this project. I wanna use Peony for my roses. I'm gonna use Olive Green for my leaves. And I think for the background, I'll use a beautiful bright gamboge. That is a beautiful color palette. And to get started, it will be just as easy, almost as coloring by numbers. I'm gonna tap a little bit of color burst into my paint palette. And I'm gonna use Peony for the roses. And I'll just start with that right now. And then with a wet brush, I'm just gonna paint each petal with color burst. I'm using a number 12 round white sable brush. I like to use a round brush because whenever it's wet, you can get a really, really fine tip on the end of your brush and that makes it good for coloring. So with a wet brush, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of color burst and then I'm gonna start coloring. And I'm gonna color with color burst where I see the darkest areas and I'll rinse my brush and then just color with water to complete that petal. And I'll just let the color burst and the water do my blending work. And rinse out my brush and then just color with water. And that will give you the natural shading and highlights. And rinse your brush often. See how we get that beautiful shading? It looks like there's a shadow up here under the petal. And because in this part of the petal I just painted with water, it gives you that natural shading. It's really easy to do. So we're gonna pick up some more color burst and proceed to the next petal. What I love about these coloring cards is you can use them for a variety of different projects. If you want to put this onto a card front when you're finished and send it as a card, you can do that. You could also frame it as a tiny rose painting. And you can use a variety of mediums. I've used pastels to do these. You can also use markers or watercolor pencils or Prismacolor or Copic markers. They're all different kinds of mediums that you can use on this coloring card. One thing you'll notice is I'm working around my composition. I'll do a couple of petals over here, then I'll look over here while these dry. And that just allows me to um, work around and finish my composition efficiently and quickly. And also then I'm not gonna tap into my petals over here that might still be wet. And then this just becomes as easy as coloring with water. It's really, really relaxing. And if you like, when you get kind of finished with this, you might go back and see that you have some white spaces. With a clean brush, you can go back and just paint that little white space with clear water. And that will actually blend in and kind of hide any white spaces that you have. But also keep in mind with watercolor, it's okay if you leave some white spaces. Next, I'm gonna use olive green to paint the leaves of these heirloom roses. So I'll tap out a little bit of olive green into my paint palette. And it doesn't take a whole lot. This paint is really, really intense. 
and then with a wet brush, I'll grab a little bit of pigment and then just start to color in my lines. And again, you don't have to be real exacting about this because we're going to go back with water and color this leaf with water. This is absolutely one of the most relaxing kinds of projects you can do. It's just very, very zen. And I'm going to clean my brush and then just color that leaf with water and let the color burst in the water do your work. You'll notice I picked up a little bit of orange there. That's normal in olive green. Olive green is a compound color and actually has like a blend of some orange and some green and a little bit of black to make it that orange, that olive green color. So that's absolutely normal. And just because I noticed this, I'm going to go back and paint a little more detail on that leaf because I lost a little bit of it. Now we've painted our leaves and I still have a few more green things to paint here, the stems and a little bud here, but I'm going to go ahead and paint my background with gamboge because I know it'll be easier to go in later and paint green on top of that yellow rather tr than trying to paint around the green, um, paint the yellow around the green. To paint the background of this, I'm going to use beautiful gamboge color. Gamboge is a rich, warm yellow. I tap a bit of that into my paint palette. And this technique will be a little different. We're going to create a watercolor wash with the gamboge. That watercolor wash will be all behind these brilliant roses. The first thing I'll do is clean my brush. And I'm going to bring an ample amount of water onto my watercolor paper. And I'm just going to paint clear water around those leaves. And make sure if you're using a round brush, you can have a fine tip so you'll be easy. It'll be easy to get up to those leaves and paint around them but not touch them. Now that I've got a nice wet surface, I'm going to come in with some gamboge. I always want to use a clean brush. And just paint some of that gamboge right behind that leaf. And add a little more water to blend. And we're creating a beautiful watercolor wash. By painting the surface first with water and adding the paint second, you can see how that just kind of naturally blends the color burst and the water will do the work for you. And then I'm just going to continue on around and paint around each petal and each leaf with water and add gamboge until I get the entire composition finished. There, now I've got my entire background painted. I'm going to dry this before I go back and finish in some of the details. So I want to come back in with some uh, olive green and paint a bud here and some stems and a couple of little leaflets there. And as I was finishing this, I also noticed that I forgot one little petal. So I'm going to grab some uh, Color Burst Peony and I'm just going to paint that petal real quick just to get that finished. And then with a clean brush, I'm going to grab some olive green and paint this one stem. Now I've created a beautiful heirloom rose watercolor painting. I really, I love how this turned out. It's a beautiful watercolor -y rose. We could put this in a small frame and frame it as a painting. Or another way we could finish this would be to put it on a card front. 
So I have one of my 5x7 water media cards. I'm actually going to take this painting and put foam squares on the back. And then we'll just mount this right onto a card base. We've created a beautiful watercolor rose painting. So there you go, using my Heirloom Roses color card, created a beautiful watercolor card that would be suitable for framing. This would be a great Mother's Day card. But what's so cool about this, you could also use any kind of coloring medium that you like, whether it's colored pencils, watercolor pencils, or color burst. It's a perfect card for any occasion.